Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at Sanfroid Tales of Werewolves, which is an action strategy game with tower defense and RPG elements, according to the Wikipedia at least. The name strikes me as quite interesting, you see, Sanfroid in French would translate literally to cold blood, possibly a reference to the wintry scenario, though also works as a kind of double entendre. Your cold blood is your cool or your nerve, to keep one's cold blood, garder son sang froid, means to keep control of yourself, as opposed to having your blood hot or boiling. Okay, uh, that Vincent is pretty much gone, so let's just keep going. A more recent interpretation of the expressions. This game was made in collaboration with writer Brian Perro and was released in 2013. Upon said time, it was favorably received. At the time I made this, it held a rating of 79% on Metacritic. That all being said, should you play it? In the 15th century, to do something with cold blood, uh, faire quelque chose de froissant, meant... Well, I do like the artwork and the music. And the uh, logo thing is very well stylized. See, cold blood, the red and blue, that's, that's nice. I really like that font. The story I'm about to tell you is not a fairy tale. Even if it talks of werewolves, the devil, and much worse still. It happened to me and my two brothers in that forsaken month of December 1858, near the village of Wolvesbell in Lower Canada. Oh, look what you did, you set the snow on fire. Close. Dr. La Montagne. Dr. The Mountain. I like that moon. And I love that font. That... That is great. Okay, and here we are in the first screen of the game. I'm still caught up on how cool that font is. Select the hero. We got Joss, Jack, and uh, that's it. High and normal. Well, let's go for normal. Joseph T. Joss O'Carroll. Joe excels both in close combat and with traps. Joe was a sickly child. Yes, he looks like it. As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I tried to fend him off with a candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Woolsvale says it's my fault. That's just crazy! Doesn't make any sense at all. But hey, don't just stand there like you're holding up the doorpost. The thing is, you see, Jacques, I'm not alone. 
Don't worry. It wasn't my day to come here, brother. Hmm. Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. I can't live there anymore either. We've got some familial Please, tension. John, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones and let us both stay here with you. Please, Jack. Jacques. Oh boy. Did you hear that? <laughs> Sounds like a How could you not? outside spooking our horses. Since you're going to be living off me, Josie, might as well make yourself useful and chase it away, will ya? Meanwhile, I'll heat up some tea for our sister. You best take good care of her. She's got a fever. Yeah, Jacques. That better be the best freaking tea I've ever seen. Okay, find the horses. Wait a second. Where did the uh, tower defense elements come in? Anyway, we're heading to the waypoint. Ah, yes. I'll be damned. The horses are dead. And your wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. The pack must be close by. You know he can't hear you. He's back at the house. Kill the wolf eating the dead horses. Okay, if I click, he attacks. If I right click, nothing happens. Here, Fido. There, we've killed the wolf and got some money for it. Do we resurrect the horses? Find the nearby pack. Yes, that's what you do. You fight the whole pack like a man. Like what kind of small boy would just kill one wolf and run back. No. You kill one, you take on its friends. The bridge to the village is burning. Looks like I'm gonna be staying with Jack longer than expected. Jack or Jacques? They can't make up their mind. Combat. We... Oh. Your health is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen. Okay. While your stamina is represented by the green bar. Okay. Okay, that's nice and intuitive. Dodge with space. Kill stuff with left click. And once you've got rage built up, you right click. Oh! Here they are. My computer's framing a little. Uh, why am I... Okay. Boom! You frickin' wolf. You didn't expect that, did ya? You're too exhausted to attack. Catch your breath. Save the miller. I hear him. I'm coming, brother. <laughs> He's up a tree. May Saint Anne have mercy on me. For the love of God, please help me. I will help you, my brother. Because you are, how do you say, a CC. You climb the tree to get away from the wolves. Oh? The rifle. To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. Okay. To reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. Okay. Oh, boom. Well, can we get the second one as well? I feel like... Oh, boom! Okay, two headshots and we killed the wolves. Mr. Miller, you can come down from the tree. The good Lord has sent you. Without your help, I would have been devoured like a rabbit. Hard mm -hmm. to miss you, Miller. I think they heard you all the way in Quebec City. Be careful. There's a pack of rabid wolves around here. Rabid wolves, How you many? say? Dozens, hundreds maybe. Hundreds. They even blocked the road to my mill in the east. Both oh my God, they're organized. As for me, I'm gonna run and hole up at the W Hood Company. It's the Great Canadian Wolf Uprising. Finally here to cast down the hubris of men. Okay, we can sprint with shift. Oh, but that eats up our uh, stamina. So let's just sprint a little bit at a time. We don't we don't want to be caught out. 
with no stamina to fight the wolves. Oh, there they are. Uh -oh. Fear factor. <laughs> fear factor? When you're in combat, the fear factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. Ah. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. However, enemies aren't as afraid of you with each passing second. I in see. which case, the icons start to get closer. When your enemy's fear factor is equal to yours, the icons touch and your enemies attack. Boom! Headshot. Come on. Reload that thing. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. He got a little bit too close. No. Oh. Boom. And actually, let me reload while there's nobody else around here. Oh boy, I'm lagging. Oh, got him. That works. I don't see any wolves. Oh. Joe! Oh boy. That's my brother. I turn my back for two seconds and he's in hot water. I'd better get back to the cabin as quick as I can. Well, rebuild the bridge really fast. Jump across. Do we get the jump tutorial? To the right of the screen, you'll find the status icon for your buildings. Ew. Wolves and other creatures can damage your buildings. If they manage to destroy one, you fail the night. Okay. Drink the Canadian whiskey in your pack by pressing 1. Enrages you and allows you to do special attacks. Let's drink the whiskey. Oh boy. Oh, Jesus, the lag. Oh! No! No, gosh, why do you keep coming after me? God! Okay, okay. What about you? Ugh. My stamina. Okay, that's that one killed. And you, rage attack. Boom. They speak to me. Ooh. I hear them. But especially I I see. I see the beasts. They were sent by the devil. Uh-huh. What happened? I don't know. She started shaking like a crazy person. Then she let out an awful scream and fell to the ground. Uh -huh. Damn it, I asked you to watch her. Yeah, Jack. There was nothing I could do. So Don't you say. I don't know what happened, but the bridge to Wolf's Vale was burnt down. We'll have to wait till morning. But we saw Dr. Lamontagne die in the uh in the first cutscene. My lord, forgive me. I was overcome with desire. What have I done? What have I done? What have you done? You're only a man, LCR. Who's there? Who are you? But you just <laughs> now invited me. When you tried to attack your servant Josephine after she'd refused your advances, I thought we had some affinities. Yeah. But when you let the fire spread in your church after Josephine hit you with the candelabra, when you accused her in front of all the villagers of the crime that you had in fact committed, that was when I knew we were going to do great things together. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the stereotypical that is what devil. Me here to make an offer you can't possibly refuse concerning mm. your lovely and inaccessible servant. Oh. Omens. The omen cards represent Josephine's visions, and they help you plan your defense for the coming night. This shows the type of enemy that will attack. 
Leaving your cursor over a card will show you a lot of information about that enemy type. This is the number of enemies that will attack from this area. Uh -huh. The attacking order of the omen cards depends on what wave they belong to. During the night, a new wave will not attack until the previous wave has been defeated. Okay. You can choose which waves you see on the map with the filters on the right side of the screen. All right. The last icon on the card represents what their target is for the night. In this case, it's your house. <gasps> if you click Sitting on the so. card, you'll see the enemy's path to their target. Oh. Run your strategy with the help of these omen cards. Okay. So let's check out wave one. Wave one is this one. So we'll have four wolves that are gonna... Okay, I see. So we can place a trap. Go on, get under the trap. Boom! Oh, uh, it's still alive! Got it. I think. Did we win the night? Yes! We are expert hunters! Boom! Yes, give me that moolah! Kablam! Level 2, success! Succès! Ah, le grand loup! As everyone knows, wolves from strong hierarchical societies, uh, which are led by alpha males, only the biggest and toughest of these males are able to reach the high old age of eight, when they become grand loup. Boom! How many did I get? None of them! <laughs> what? How did that happen? Okay, well, we got them all. And what about the other two? Oh well, that's that for this night. That was easy. Yes. Boom. I gotta say, I really like the folk tunes in this game. That's really nice. Wolfsvale. Since it was founded in 1848, the village of Wolfsvale has always been led by Sue. Hardheads, the mayor, Napoleon Roubidou, and the parish priest, Elzear Chiasson. The local economy, uh, based on lumbering, without ever being prosperous, has still permitted the population to grow to almost 400 souls. The atmosphere has, however, grown a lot tenser in the past few days since Josephine O'Carroll, uh, whom many now call the Irish Witch, Supposedly, uh, set fire to the church for obscure reasons. Am I gonna lose this night? Feels like it. Oh. Oh boy. I am gonna lose this night. I am so dead. Dude, no. Please. Oh, I'm gonna get eaten by wolves and werewolf. Please don't. Please don't. No, Mr. Werewolf, please. Mr. Werewolf, please. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh boy. And the chicken coop. No. No. Oh boy. How are we even alive? I feel like the game is being very lenient on me. Uh. Are we gonna get feasted on? Do we get to see that? We don't. Uh. Boom. Take that. Freaking werewolf. Okay. Now let's go to save our chicken coop. My chickens! Regardless of that, at least my axe is holy. Oh, boy. Yes, I need to catch my breath. Uh, hey there, Mr. Werewolf. Now excuse me while I beat your face in. Yes! And I think we have won the night. Look at us. We're great. Yes, Victoire. For obscure reasons, uh, he has always refused to divulge uh, Filia Sancrapo Fa. <laughs> Sancrapo, that means Saint Frog. Or, or is it Saint Toad? Father left his native land of Acadia uh, to settle in the Wolvesville region. 
becoming the operator of a sol of a sawmill for the W. Hood Company. Since then, Phidias has taken over for his father, but the infernal beasts have made life difficult for the Arcadian. They've been specifically uh, targeting his mill for some time now. So I'd gone down to the hardware store in the village to get stuff to fix my mill. Right. I was coming back, and since I didn't have any more tobacco in my pouch, I said to myself, it'd be a good idea to warm myself up a little at Jackie's. Get drunk, get out of my house. Hey, Phidias, could there be something here that's attracting the beast? Okay, we got him. We got him. So now we need to uh, make our way to our house. I don't think we can get there in time. Yep, I think our house is done, guys. No, not my house. No, ma maison. Ugh, we've lost uh, Josephine. It's a shame. <laughs> God, the werewolf just tore down our house. What did it do? Did it huff and puff and tear the walls down? God. Well, guys, I uh, I think we're gonna leave this episode here. Let's head on to the village. As you can see, it's a uh, quite the interesting game. You got different paths, the traps. You got your you got your hardware store. Who doesn't love one of those? And uh, yeah, so as the description said, it's got RPG elements, tower defense elements, all really nice elements. I actually, I very much enjoyed this game and I would definitely recommend it. That being said, guys, I think this is where we're gonna leave it for today. So I will catch you next time.